So hi, Mike Rope Hunter here and today I want to, to talk about a magnification question that one of my viewers had. I'd like to read out uh, the question to you and then let's talk about this. I'm coming uh, for some clarification with a stupid question. I want to buy a trino microscope so I can use it uh, with the camera at the same time. I'm wondering about one eyepiece thing. If an eyepiece is 10 times magnifying, for example, and I take it out and put the camera in, does that mean I will lose the 10 times magnification and only have the objective magnification on the camera image? I love your videos, friend. Keep doing the amazing work. So first of all, thank you for the question. And I need to explain the question a little bit to those people who are, don't have uh, so much background information right now. So what we have here is, is a microscope with a so-called trinocular head. And there is a camera attached here um, on the photo tube. However, it is possible also to connect the camera um, instead of one of the eyepieces. This is what you referred to. And the question is now is, what magnification do you now have on the camera? Because the 10 times magnifying eyepiece now has been removed. Moved. And uh, the short answer is, is uh, these are two different types of magnifications that we're talking about. The magnification when looking through the eyepieces and the magnification of an image which is captured in a camera and then displayed on a screen. We're using the word magnification for both cases. Um, however, they actually mean something different. And in order to distinguish those two things, um, often you refer to as linear or lateral magnification when talking about the magnification of an image and just magnification when uh, you're talking about enlarging something when you look through the eyepieces. I would like to explain this a little bit now. Right now we have a 10 times magnifying eyepieces and a 10 times magnifying objective. 10 times 10 gives you now a total magnification of 100 times. And this means that an object uh, that I normally would see in a certain size with 250 millimeters distance, that's the standardized reading distance, will now appear 100 times closer to you. So 250 divided by 100 is 2.5 millimeters. So when I use this combination of eyepieces and objective right now, then an object would appear to be two and a half millimeters in front of my eye. And that would be the size that I would see. Uh, this, of course, is not possible. My eye is not able to focus that closely. That's why we need an, a microscope to do that, of course. Now, when we uh, exchange uh, an eyepiece uh, for a microscope camera like this, or when we simply have the microscope camera here attached in the photo tube, um, then what we have is, is we have in here you, uh, the so-called uh, the reduction optics. Okay, uh, you see that there is a, a lens, uh, a lens system in here. And this lens system actually um, will reduce the magnification yet further. So usually you have 0 0.3 or 0 0.5 uh, magnification. Um, so the question is, is now what magnification do I have now on, on the camera? Okay. Now the 0 0.3 or the 0 0.5 magnification here is necessary so that the image that is projected from the objective is uh, kind of uh, resized in such a way that it fits nicely on the sensor. Um, and however, uh, when we get the magnification on the sensor here and when we display it on a screen, then the total magnification, the total lateral or linear magnification depends on how large I display the image on the screen. So what I have to do then is, is I have to divide the size of the image on the screen divided by the original size um, of the specimen and then I get a magnification value. And this magnification value, of course, is, is very, has nothing to do with the magnification of looking um, yeah, through eyepiece and objective. When I go up with the magnification here, well, then, of course, um, I also get a larger image on, on screen. Um, so, but the important thing here is, is that this magnification, the final magnification, depends, of course, also on the size of the image and also on the pixel density and on the sensor size and a whole, a whole variety of different factors. So what I want to say here is, is the following is, is that you cannot really compare it. And uh, what sometimes people ask me um, or have asked in the past is, well, can I not simply include the magnification um, on my video? So when I show them something under the microscope, um, then what magnification is it? 
Okay. Um, usually what you do is, is you add some kind of a scale bar and then you say, okay, this is, is 10 micrometers. Okay. This does not really tell you a lot <laughs> because people want to know what uh, objective do I have to use. But it would not make a lot of sense to actually say the magnification because the actual final magnification is different from person to person because they all use a different uh, size computer screen um, or they on YouTube they use a different size of display size. Okay. So uh, it doesn't make a lot of sense. So what I usually included in the corner is I'm simply telling them what objective I'm using, like the 10 times objective or, or the, 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 the 50, 40 times objective um, to get make a certain image. But this does not mean that the final image is now 10 times or 40 times magnified. Yeah? I'm just uh, indicating this way that this is the objective that I'm using um, because there's so many other factors that are involved here. So yeah, in summary, um, what I need to tell you is, is uh, the following, uh, you two different types of uh, magnifications and essentially they mean something quite different. Okay. And uh, for this uh, reason, uh, your question can be answered only in such a way eh, with the simple words, it depends, <laughs> unfortunately. Um, but it is actually a quite an advanced question. And uh, simply by for you have uh, having asked this question, I think you have already realized the very, um, yeah, we have touched on a very central um, topic uh, of, of microscopy. And, and magnification. Okay, I think uh, I hope that this clarified more than it actually um, caused more questions. Uh, do leave your comments behind, of course, uh, and yeah, happy micro punting. See you around next time. Bye bye.